It's been a long day, be it at work or school or wherever, and you're just looking for something quick that you can drop a few bucks on to slop down in front of the TV. Look, I get it. But what I don't get is when you do the same thing day in and day out, pumping your face full of hockey puck meat patties and processed cheese while your body screams at you to stop killing it with migraines, depression, diabetes, heart disease, chronic constipation, good old-fashioned American obesity, and a stroke? It could give you a fucking stroke. Put that shit down. But with men, damn it, and meat is a essential part of our diet must be consumed the mass quantities at every sitting, and the burger is the epitome of perfection when it comes to meat-to-salad ratio. You may grass at meat through all four of your sweaty chins, but real men know what a vegetable is, and don't have colons that look like sausage casings overstuffed with raw sewage, you two tons of fun, flabby-ass, flatulent prick. Your body is a temple, and the digestive tract is the unsung saint that has to clean up all the abuse you've been hawking at it, so you should be singing its praises and throwing its Scooby snacks on a daily basis. One of my favorite ways to do this is with an easy down-home sweet potato black bean burger. Here's what you'll need. Two large sweet potatoes, one can of black beans, one half cup of corn, one half cup of cooked quinoa, one half cup of breadcrumbs, three chipotle peppers seeded and minced, four shallots minced, four cloves of garlic minced, cumin, salt, and pepper. First, we're going to need to get these sweet potatoes working in the microwave for seven minutes until they're tender. Then bust open that can of black beans and strain and rinse the juice out of them. We're going to be adding our own flavor, so you're not going to miss this stuff. When the potatoes are ready, tear into that skin and scoop out all that sweet, mashy goodness into a large bowl, along with everything else. Add your cumin and salt and pepper to taste. Give it a rough mash, enough that most of your beans are pulp and some are still in good shape. Patty those suckers out and lay them on a tray. Pop them in the oven at 375 for 15 minutes, then give them a flip. Now, how about that? Looks like I missed one of the most important ingredients when I was putting together my mix. The egg. The glue that binds all this mush together to form a solid patty. Looks like it's still salvageable though, so instead of cramming all this down the garbage disposal, take the mix, pop it back in your bowl, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit more breadcrumbs, then temper in two eggs, reform my patties, and let bake for another 15 minutes. When it's done, it should come out looking like this. Now it's up to you what you want to do with it, but here's how I take care of this situation. Pulse a cup of plain yogurt into a blender with the meat of three avocados, cilantro, and some lime juice until it's smooth. Then spread it onto a slice of toasted whole wheat bread, slide on that sweet bean badness, add alfalfa sprouts, top toast, and eat. Does that sound fast? Does that sound easy? Well, damn it, it's delicious and healthy, too. So instead of killing yourself softly with fast food, take an hour of your time to celebrate the multitude of miraculous things your body does for you with a little sweet bean burger love. And always remember to pay it forward, because real friends don't let friends eat fast food. Be sure to subscribe, like, and favorite. And I'll see you next time on Just a Guy.